Hi guys, Sandy from Sweezy by Sandy here and today we are going full on Valentine's. We are making a heart decor using some needle felting. We're showing you how to make quick, easy and fun needle felt hearts. You can use however you want really. We just figured making the hearts and being done with it would be kind of weird. <laughs> These are so quick, there's still plenty of time to make some for tonight, so let's get needling. Now for this needle felting project we are using three different needles depending on the part of the heart we're working on. Now the bigger the needle the less time it takes because it covers more surface but it also can't reach the tiny spots, you know, those require one needle to be more precise. We'll also need a heart mold and any mold will do really, this is a cookie cutter actually and a sponge to place our heart on so we can needle at it <laughs> and some wool of course. We're also using this very old drawing board so we don't ruin my poor table any more than I already have because odds are when that needle gets going it may just go through the sponge and into the next surface. And this board is older than me so it's seen some action and it can pretty much take anything you throw at it. Let's get started. We tear up some chunks of wool. Now you never cut the wool in needle felting unless you're trimming something like we did with our fairy a couple of videos ago. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out after this one. It is stunning. Okay, so now we've placed the wool in the mold and once it's all in, we start using the needle to press the wool together like so. We'll switch between needles to try and hurry this process up a bit. It's the big needle for the center, the medium sized needle for where the big one doesn't fit and the smaller needle for the corners. And once you're happy with the texture, we just turn the heart around and start over. Okay, now if we wanted, we could have just stopped here. You know, it is a perfectly finished heart, but we want a thicker heart. And in fact, we can go as high as the mold will allow us really. So we'll be doing this process two more times. And we start the second time by adding some more wool. Here we go. And once we're happy with the height, all that's left to do is needle the sides. And by the way, this is another one of my cousin Carla's projects. She is the felt needling queen as far as I'm concerned and I've been asking her for some really cool projects like animals and stuff like that. There really are some gorgeous needle felting projects out there. So if you'd like to see more needle felting on this channel, leave us a comment below letting me and Carla know you're and that's it, our first heart is done. Now we need to make six more. And here they are, looking lovely and soft. Okay, we're making a hanging decoration, something you can put on your wall or your door, something like that. So we need some thread to hang these hearts on. We also need a wool needle that can actually fit the thread. <laughs> now the harder it is to pull the needle through the heart, the better you'll have done your job because it means the fibers are all tucked in together. So well done, you just made life harder for yourself. <laughs> just kidding, okay? Just don't worry if you have to put some muscle into it. Then you tie a knot and use your needle to tuck it all in and there you have it. Now to repeat this step six more times. And we're making all these threads about the same size, you know, about 15 inches. And then in the end, once all the hearts are in their proper places, then we'll trim off the excess. Okay, now we spend some time figuring out how we want this to look. Because once it's in the air, they all just get tucked in together. So there's really no point in having two hearts at the same height, for example, because one will just hide behind the other. And then we tie it all into one knot.
and now we braid the excess thread to make a loop further down the line. Okay, now I must confess, I'm feeling a little bit of a hypocrite to this project because I don't do Valentine's at all. It means nothing to me. The closest I've been to celebrating Valentine's was in my previous relationship because his birthday was on the 13th, so we celebrate that. Close enough, I think. <laughs> I'm more of a spontaneous gesture kind of gal. But hey, this world needs love and celebration, so whatever gets us that is fine by me. Now the next step is adding a cute little rustic ribbon to our hearts. We have this beige linen-like fabric that will be just perfect. Now there are a lot of ways to make ribbons and this is the easiest I think. Some call it being lazy, I call it being smart. <laughs> as long as you end up with a ribbon on top of those hearts, who cares? You can glue or even staple that center part and just be done with it. Okay, final step adding that ribbon to our red hearts. And for that we are using my best crafty friend, the hot glue gun. <laughs> We glue the thread braid onto the ribbon and then we close the loop. That's where this entire thing will hang on, so you will want to make sure it's nice and stuck, okay? And that's it, we are done. How cute are these? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you for our next one. Bye bye and have a great Valentine's.